Hey, this is Ed Spangenberg from Click T Shop. <laughs> right? Right. <laughs> Hello. Hey, what's up there, Kiss Army? Tom and Zeus with another episode of Shout It Out Loud Cast, episode 74. We're calling this one Kiss BFF. What does the BFF stand for? Oh, I don't know. Use your imagination. I don't know. Best, I, I, best, best f- fuck face. There you go. Biggest fuck faces. Biggest fucko forever. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah, no, this is going to be good. This is going to be exciting for everybody to listen to the shenanigans that uh, that, that, that go on here. We, we, we will get into that, but we, ha- we also we have business to take care of before we get to the topic at hand. Absolutely. We had a pretty fun week. Things are, things are pretty normal in this country right now. Just regular run-of-the-mill stuff, right? Regular stuff, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, Ju- it's June, so there's a new crisis. Yeah. So I, I can't wait to see what July brings us. Maybe if uh, I, I, re- I read something about an asteroid potentially hitting <laughs> the, the planet Earth soon, so who knows what's next. This could be our last episode. <laughs> yeah. You... The fan, the fans <laughs> needs to be need to be protected. <laughs> um, so we have a uh, we had a fun episode last week. Last week we did the uh, number twos, correct? Yeah, yeah. and the, the the one of the funniest parts of that thing was so on Thursdays when we do like our coming soon like episode teasers, me and you we couldn't think of anything, so we just we just posted uh, the number two. <laughs> and I'm telling you, I love our fans because everybody was like, oh no, you've gone from piss cups to shit now. Like, <laughs> everybody was doing like the shit emoji and everything. I'm like, oh God, no, 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 it's not that. We weren't doing number twos. No. Like deuces, although the <laughs> episode was called Deuce. That's right. I uh, thought it was quite fun. We had a nice discussion. I thought our lists were pretty cool. The feedback we got was pretty good. We had a uh, poll. How'd the poll go? Uh, the poll was, it was pretty close. Parasite won, narrowly beat out King of the Nighttime World. Christine, 16, and Take It Off uh, had, like, no shot. It was, it was Parasite won 39% over King of the Nighttime World. had 35%. Uh, wow. That was good. That was a good poll. I knew I, 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 I knew Ace. Ace is the best. <laughs> <laughs> I knew Christine 16 and take it off. Didn't stand a chance against those two classics, but it was, that was a good poll though. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. We got some feedback. You want to read some of the Twitter feedback we got? Yeah. So we got a lot of uh, feedback and we thank you guys as always for that. Um, our buddy deuce was doing his weekly uh, live tweet as he listens to the episode. And we always love that. He has a uh, great r- running commentary on Twitter, which is awesome. We love listening to that. And he was well, drinking. And, he, and I was drinking. And I was drinking. So he gave he gave his list with uh, and King of the Nighttime World was number one for him. Who else do we have? We have Twisted Kister. He said, another great episode. Zeus continues to shock me. How do you not have Take Me on your list? I appreciate the LOLs. He had nothing to lose as at his number one. Nice. Um, uh, our buddy Jerky Jack Broad had Parasite number one and Take Me number two. You do, huh? I'm very proud of you. That's very nice. But he had Shandy, number 10. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I got into it with a few people about Shandy being on their list. People are Steve, fucking nuts. Yep, Steve as well. Our buddy Steve had Shandy. It looks like he had number three. Murph, our buddy Murph, great episode. You always deliver. Oh, Murph, we love you. And then our buddy Joel Hoffman says, God help me, I know it's wrong, but I despise everything about, and he's talking about Stuart, I despise everything about that self-indulgent, whining, high-pitched, ass-kissing nerd of a human being. There is nothing likable likable about him in his lack of self-awareness. He has zero respect for his fans. He's a star fucker. That's all he cares about. But that doesn't mean I didn't enjoy the rest of the show. But, man, I giggle my ass off every time you talk about pudgy, sandal-clad boy in his antics. The other day he did some video and he was shooting or he was doing a, like a some sort of uh, the metal show reunion with his friends there. And they were all at a table and there was a screenshot of it and he had mandals on. Oh, I believe it. Yeah. Yeah. No, the mandals were in effect. Then we had one, one a good one from Smoke Show 19. Totally just fucking fucking with Zeus a little bit. He says, my favorite number twos are Detroit Rock City, Love Gun and Hotter Than Hell. 
Sorry if I did it wrong. The rules weren't very clear. <laughs> yeah. The uh, and then we got some Facebook stuff. Of course, our buddy David Zanet. Yep. Fratelli Paisani. And he put his stuff down. He, he's so great. I love getting stuff from him. Then, not to be all done, fellow Italiano Paisan, Jack Pinocchio. <laughs> from Australia, if I recall correctly. He said, but this is my number one. King of the nighttime world, he had is his number one. And uh, Jack is uh, uh, well known now because... Every time Jack Pinocchio gets na- uh, put on, we put our favorite tune on, and people have been clamoring it. I had somebody ask me, what song is that that you played? I really yep. like that. And a couple other people commented, they really like that Lazy Mary by Lou Monty. Yep. And we had uh, Billy DeBruck. He had Parasite. He gave us his top ten list. Graham Richley always gives us good stuff. Love both lists this week. No complaints from me. I think King of the Nighttime World is one of Kiss's best song. So I uh, that's Graham. We have Con- we have Brad Rustovens. His is King of the Nighttime World on his list. Uh, then we have a J. F. Belanger. Oh, and his list begins like this, Tom. Uh oh, Deuce. <laughs> no. Unholy. No. No. They're all gonna. But you master and slave oh. war machine Detroit Rock City I stole your love hell or Alaya Alaya what, what list God gave this? rock and roll to you Witten Witten like the like the like those Witten. birds that come in and they, and they go They swoop down. They swoop and they they bite and nip my horse in his face. Wait, was he? And they bit my horse's teeth and his face okay, right out. Hold on a second. Let's give him. I'm going to give this guy the benefit of the doubt from it. Was he submitting his list for like the summer playlist episode? This is not the summer playlist. This is our top ten number two songs. Not one of those is a number two song. <laughs> <Yeah. I don't laughs> They're all over the place too. Oh, There's boy. some openers like Deuce, Unholy. Not Deuce, but Unholy, Detroit Rock City, I Stole Your Love, Hell or Alleluia, whatever he wrote. Hell or Alleluia. (laughs) Witten. W-H-I-T-I-N. Who, Jason Witten? (laughs) Oh, my. I love our listeners. I love our listeners. I do, too. All right. So that was a lot of fun. And then, of course... You know, I'm sure we'll get some good feedback on this episode, too. Oh, so yeah. what's going on in Kiss World? So today, uh, today's Thursday, our buddy, uh, our buddy BB from Potter Than Hell alerted uh, us to something on social media from Blabbermouth. And it was it was amazing. It was a uh, it was a Anthrax drummer, Charlie Benanti, uh, Rob Zombie guitarist, John Five, Trickster bassist, PJ Farley. And Quarantine, Chris Jericho's band, the guitar player Joe McGinnis, they did a cover version of yeah, Mr. Joe was also in uh, Classic 78 and also yes, correct. Quarantine from Kiss yes. as well. They did a cover, unbelievable cover of Mr. Speed. Oh, my God, it was unbelievable. But what made the video, we posted the video on our social medias. I'm sure hopefully people have seen it. But if you haven't, check it out. What made it even funnier is that each of them is wearing like a mask of the band member that they're supposed to be. And they put like a color splash over the video. So the guy who's supposed to be Ace has blue. The guy who's supposed to be Gene has red and so forth and so on. It it sounded like unbelievable. I mean, it was really, really awesome. Very, very cool. And I love, I love seeing stuff like this. Absolutely. That's great. Uh, those guys uh, put out. And this is the kind of stuff that make, you know, uh, people that are talented like this can take advantage of this downtime and COVID-19 and come up with something like this creative. So kudos to those guys. Absolutely awesome. And then we had uh, our good friend, Mr. Paul Stanley, putting a video out himself. Uh, Oh, do we need to? No, no. I mean, we will, but the soul station business, look, uh, everybody's got their opinion and that's fine. Everybody has a right to their opinion. It's just not something I want to see from Paul Stanley. I I don't mind that kind of music, 
that has nothing to do with the genre of music. It's it's just not what I want to see from him. He all of a sudden has given up on his Kiss videos that that were great. Those don't exist anymore because now he's doing the the uh, the Soul Station shit. Yeah. Um, the other part to this is I only saw the part on like you uh, on Facebook real quick, or was it was it on Twitter? So I only yep. saw a portion of it. It didn't even look like he was singing, but apparently there is a longer version of that. If you click on it and you can uh, see like, on Instagram and he, you can tell he's singing his part in a falsetto voice. It's just, I don't need a longer said, version. I, first of all, I, like I love Motown. I love that yeah. stuff. Yep. Has anybody said, you know what, you know what will make my girl sound better? If Paul Stanley from kiss did it, yeah. I don't need David Ruffin of the temptation singing. it. I need Paul Stanley at age 70 singing it. That's what I want to get. You know, it's Come it, on. It, it's funny. And we, we've talked about this before. And again, God bless Paul. He has the right to do what he's wanting. He's trying to keep himself busy with the lockdown and everything. But like, we've talked about this before. And it's like, how tone deaf are you right now, Paul? Your tour has been canceled. Your cruise has been canceled or postponed. There's Pete, your kiss fans are not, they're being denied kiss because of the the lockdown and you're giving them this like you you started off great with the lockdown back in march and you were doing those videos and they were excellent and you 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 fill the void by doing this i don't know it it's, well i think i think it's become the point where he's made so much money in his life he doesn't care he doesn't need to and, he, and he'll say to him you'll say and other people will say and vouch for him and i'm just being devil's advocate dom no no saying, they'll say well he's earned the right to do what he wants to do he doesn't have to do what he if he, i get it he is of doing course, of what course. he wants to do he's of course he's earned the fat the right to do it he's got enough money he's got yep. enough security to do it but there's also something else and i don't know if i really want to open this wound or whatever with what's going on out you know in the community and everything else does somebody really need to see white Paul Stanley in the middle of four other African American soul singers singing an African American soul song? Like, yeah, yeah. talk about a little tone deaf. But we've I always just, we've we've uh, uh, we've always said he's tone deaf. He's tone deaf with like, the fans. He's tone deaf with what's going on. He and like you said, he's but he is trying to be what do you call it. Woke Paul Stanley these days, but he doesn't see that. Oh, uh, I don't know. Uh, I'm just, uh, we're not going to get into the discussion there. I'm bringing it up because when I see that, when I finally saw the video, he's got obviously the people in his band are probably more apt to sing that song on his own and better than he can. So, so why if we see, if we see Jericho, they need him. If we see Jericho's band quarantine and we see that the group of guys that we just mentioned doing Mr. Speed, why is Kiss not doing that? Why is him and Paul and Tommy and, and, and Eric not trying to fuck around and do something fun? But like I, I've already said, the tour's been postponed. The crew, there's nothing going on. Why not? Hey, what, what is going on? Imagine, like, yeah, but could you imagine if they sat around a room and said, hey, guys. Let's fuck around. It probably would take them a half an hour. Yeah. Let's do love them and leave them. Let's yeah. do that for it. People would never expect us. And we'll have four videos up and yep. each of us doing our part. How how much would everybody's mind be blown if they did exactly. a song like that out yep. of the blue? And, you know, they don't need to do it perfect. No one's going to be like, oh, that doesn't sound right. Oh, you missed a chord. Just put a little effort into it. It'll probably come back to them in 10, 15 minutes. An hour, two hours, fuck around. It's Just do con- something like that. It's content for the fans, and that's the thing that's frustrating. For who? The fan, who we don't give a you, fuck about right now. You, the fan. Yeah, no, yeah. I don't think I so. I mean, it is what it is. I know, um, I know. But while Paul was doing this, um, he couldn't find any time in his day, and I gave him the benefit of the doubt, but he couldn't find any time of the day now going on six days now. Yep. To wish um, his friend, his very good friend, and a major contributor to Kiss to rest in peace. Or how about respect for his brother, who's done so much for the band 
and is supposedly a great friend of yours to just say, I publicly want to wish you, you know, my support during your time of grieving. He couldn't do that. And then all we got from Gene was like a two word blip on Twitter and then kiss the band put something up there. Generic ace gave the most heartful one. Peter did too. Peter, Carrie Stevens, um, obviously Bruce, but other members surrounding kiss did about Bob Kulik meatloaf. I I saw a ton of other people and I know I'm forgetting a few other people, but other people did about Bob's contribution and what he's done. It was a major shock out of nowhere. And, uh, I'm sad, very sad to see that this uh, man uh, passed away at still a young age, in my opinion, 70 years old, had a lot more to give. And uh, I am shocked that Paul just did, couldn't muster up anything to publicly say, fake it. Or is he still in the mentality like, well, I can't fake that. I don't feel that. So I shouldn't say anything. Ugh. There's a lot Jesus. of there's a lot of things uh, that have turned me off as a Kiss fan throughout my years of being a Kiss fan, and most of them are are minor and they they're fleeting and they come and go. And I'm like, okay, it's still the band I love. At the risk of sounding melodramatic here, this really bothers me because I think this says a lot about the kind of person that Paul is. Um, I understand everybody has the right to grieve how they want. And I get that. It's a private, personal uh, emotion. But Paul has raised the bar on his social medias, Twitter and Facebook. He's not afraid to speak up, whether it's about what's going on with, with, you know, with race issues in the society, in, in the community, with, you know, people being healthy and wearing a mask and staying amongst the pandemic. And although he's very, very, very outspoken, he's not. What about shy. his books? What about his it's, last book? His Where it's all self-preaching well. about yep. how you should oh. behave and yep. how you forgive people. And, but you and have a guy who is, we, we talked about this, one of the most important members in the band's history. Not only that, but a personal member of Paul Stanley's history, his solo album. Guitarist on his solo tour. Paul was let, He was living in Paul's apartment in New York. They're he, very uh, close. He auditioned for the role of Ace. This is one of the most important members of the band. And I know that Bob had issues prior to his passing, but it, it's shocking to me that there's been no acknowledgement. And like you said, Zeus, at a minimum, do it out of respect for Bruce. But that just shows you the kind of the, the grudge and the kind of behavior and personality that Paul Stanley has. I th I'm sorry. I think this makes him look horrible and feel free to disagree with me and you have that right everybody has that right to say how they feel i think he looks like a he looks really, small he looks, looks small he, he looks small and he really it just pisses me off it pisses me up petty um and we talked about this kind of segueing into what we did on last friday night because hopefully you guys got to check out uh the awesome live stream that we did last friday with our buddy sonny pooney um because the, the news was fresh and we wanted to talk about it and uh, thank you to everybody out there who joined us live. And since then, it's had over 2,000 views. And we can't thank you guys enough for that uh, with the interaction and everything. And that was that was a great way. We try to mix in some fun and some humor and some non-kiss talk because we didn't want to be depressing for two hours. But like I just said, we talked about, you know, top five non-kiss members. And, you know, we came up with we, – we said Bob Kulik's probably top five. Yeah, so we, we were ta discussing that. The only other part I want to kind of bring it back to is sure. a couple things. Just because yeah, we know how KISS fans are. Uh, just fixing it for all you people that are going to be nitpicking what we're saying. He's not a real official member, but we're calling him like a member of the KISS family. He was right. never a member of the band. We get that. Oh, we're of course. saying he's like a member of the family. So yes. I don't want yes. people to be like, oh, you called him a member. When was right. he in the band? Right. What right. lineup was he in? You know, yeah, right. Stupid right. shit like that. Yep. But, you know, the the point is, and I'll be a, a little bit devil's advocate. We don't know. Maybe Paul reached out to Bruce. He says, I can't do it publicly, but, you know, I'm here for you, Bruce. I'm sorry for your loss. 
We don't know that. He might have done that. But it's still, Paul, you preach this shit constantly in your book. How you're, you know, in therapy, you've gotten enlightened and how you should treat people and how to behave. And and he talks about what a, how refreshing it is and rewarding that he was able to patch up that relationship with his father. Yep. You know, knock on wood, thankfully, because his father's still alive, that he fixed it. Well, you didn't get a chance to do that with Bob, but you could still say nice things. We would just say, you know, I'm sorry to see him lost. Bob played an important part of Kiss and to the fans. Unfortunately, you know, we, we, were, we weren't on great terms, but we can never look back and not remember fondly about his, con- his Kiss contributions. Or are you still worried that he might sue you for the money that you guys never paid him that Bob was bitching about? Right. I know there was stuff. We looked at uh, Bob was, you know, calling him a clown and showing photos of him and being kind of whatever. But there's another aspect of this that uh, we talked about on our loud, our live cast. But not everybody's seen it, obviously, because a lot of you don't have Facebook. And God bless you that you don't. And I think the only reason I use Facebook still is because of Kiss. Yep. But we we discussed that part of it, too. And that is, for quite some time, you guys didn't know this, we had been in contact with Bob. And we had planned to have him on our show. And there were email correspondence going back and forth and direct messages and things like that. And some of them were quite strange. I'm not going to lie. They were out there and, you know, and he'd be like, hey, when are you going to have me on? What's going on? And to be honest with you, you know, with what was going on and everything, we kind of held back because, you know, we have we we didn't want to get him on with the time when we were talking with Bruce about coming on and we didn't want any tension there. And Bob was acting erratic and that's not what we're all about. We don't want Bob coming on shitting on, you know. Bruce and anything uh, we weren't sure where he was going at that point but we did you know keep the line of communication open because he was supposed to come on and I thought we would have him on before the summer was out and I know he was going through a tough time we still don't know how he passed away but, but I know he was going through a tough time so you know is it that shocking to us I don't think so but it's still no one expected this and um, it's a shame. It's, I, I have major regret that we weren't able to talk to him. Oh yeah, and um, and get his feedback. We were going to do a Bob episode where we talked about the songs specifically that he played on and rank them and go through them with him. And that's what we were in the process of doing and having him on. And we unfortunately will never get that chance. Yep. Uh, it's too bad. I, I wish. You know, he rests in peace and he finds the peace that he so richly deserves. And, uh, you know, our sympathies go out to the Kulik family, obviously Bruce and his wife and the rest of Bob's loved one and his fans. And it, it's just a shame, Tom. It's just a shame. Yeah, it is. It is. And, and you know, like, you know, I, I echo everything Zeus just said, you know, the good and the bad. And, uh, you know, like like Zeus said, if you guys haven't had a chance to see the live stream, it was it was it was cathartic for us to kind of get out of what we how we felt and like you said we kind of veered off and went into different areas and talked about some crazy stuff then we circled back to bob and uh you know the video is still there on our facebook feed if you want to give it a shot you know um it it, it was good we'll to probably talk about it. Yeah, yeah we could do that too yep um but you know in in honor of bob our our, our thursday poll today's thursday you guys will obviously hear this on saturday we put out a poll about um Two of two of Zeus and I are two of our favorite songs that Bob was involved in, and that's No Way to Run and All American Man. The, the poll's only a few hours old, but right now it's neck and neck. It's fifty one to forty nine. Um, wow! So it's it's going to be interesting. You know, the, he he was a big part of some of the most beloved songs. Um, you know, and again, it's it's just very sad. And like Zeus said, may he rest in peace, and may may uh, Bruce and the family uh, be handling this as well as they can. You know. The other thing about the, the live stream, we've been talking about doing one for forever. And, um, you know, we just, we've both busy and stuff like this. But when this Bob thing hit, we were just like, uh, we had to talk to somebody. Like, we felt like we had to get this stuff out. And um, the best way to do it, I thought, was just let's go live. And let's just talk about it. 
and see how it goes. We ended up, you know, like, hey, want Sonny? We asked Sonny to come on with us. Sonny comes on. And next thing you know, we're we're fighting about Michael Anthony versus uh, Alex Van Halen. <laughs> yep. And uh, two and a half guys, hours later. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And and Tommy had a point. He's like, I just don't want it to be a big depressing fest. Our first ever live stream, and we're all crying. Like, so we we veered off a little bit. But if you guys want to hear it, we'll repost it on Facebook. I might try to see if I can get the audio and put it on as like some sort of a separate episode. Yep. And you guys could listen to it. We'll be doing some more live cast stuff later on and stuff. I thought that was a lot of fun and be on the lookout for more. Yeah. So before we start talking about, you know, this week's insane topic, uh, you know, the weather has been hot up here in New England. When it gets hot and get a little sweaty, get a little sticky. Oof. How do we take care of that, Zeus? Well, we switch things up, Tom, is what we do. Oh, we like to switch it up. Ooh, back that up and switch it up. Ooh. <laughs> I can't do it. You're not going to get through it. I'm going to get through it. All right, let's see. Free stuff is awesome. But free stuff to spice up girls, your bedroom is even better. Select almost any one item for Fifty five zero percent off. And then Adam and Eve loads on the free stuff. Enter offer co- offer code loudcast at checkout and get ten tantalizing free gifts. A sexy item for him, a special gift for her, and a third item. You both will enjoy. Ooh. And six. One, two, three, four, five, six free spicy movies. Plus free shipping. That's loudcast at adamandeve.com. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> don't matter, just don't bite it. Oh shit, god damn, bitch, you bit my damn shit. I said suck the motherfucker, you biting it shit. Um, oh yeah. That'll be a bonus episode where we do the uh the review of oh forget. A <laughs> hundred miles and running. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, so what do we got going on this week? What are we previewing here or, or, or introducing? Okay. So we decided to do it came about because we were talking about something about I think it was a text exchange that we had between Sonny and Tony uh, Musalam, who's the one of the guitarist in the one of the singers at on the band Restrained with a Y people um, check them out. And, and, who also, and who also does our intro music for the bonus episodes. Absolutely. <laughs> and so we were talking about, oh, Tony, I mean him go back 30 years. He knows me. I know him. We're like, oh, wow, that's like me and Tom. We're like, oh, yeah, we're like married couples. And then we thought about it. I was like, you know what? We could do like a newlywed. Who knows who better? And they're like, okay, let's get a third team. And that was easy. We're like, okay, let's get Steve. Because Steve is buddies with his friend, BB or BC, for about the same amount of time. So we asked them to come on board. And we never had BC on before. So we said, Steve, why don't you bring BC, Sonny, team up with Tony. And let's do a kind of a, a newlywed type of game. And who do we get? I mean, we- there's only one game show host out there, Murph Eubanks. <laughs> guy Smiley. <laughs> he is the guy Smiley. Yes. <laughs> um, Murph, of course, Murph. Yep. And uh, we all started submitting questions. And, oh, you know, God. some of them were better than others. Some of them were, <laughs> you'll hear, like, you'll be like, oh, that's definitely Zeus's question. And then <laughs> you'll and, take and, that and, one and, out. And then there's one where, you know, it's like, oh, it's definitely Sonny submitted that one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because uh, it, it was a lot of fun, buddy. That was a lot of fun. So oh, it, was, it was it was great. I mean, in the in, in typical shout it out loud cast style, the questions, the answers, the, the interaction amongst us all. It was just what a great time. I mean, it's a lot of some of the questions are, you know, serious kiss related. Some of them are silly, silly, silly. Uh, but we we just had a blast. Tons of fun yeah. with those guys. And there's also an 
improbable streak that goes on in the beginning of this game. Oh yeah. Which which somebody's going to be like there's no way they got this. Because me and Tom are like how the fuck would they figure this out? The there fix. was obviously no cheating, but this is this is pretty ridiculous. You'll see, catch on to it. And I will have to say um this was a ton of fun. Yep. So before uh anything else you want to add before we start this, Tom? No, get ready for the chaos. Here it comes. And here we go. Wow, we got seven handsome bastards on this show today. We are doing a game that our friend Mr. Sonny Pooney came up with. And uh, since nobody could come up with a name, we threw out Kiss BFF for now. (laughs) And uh, who do we got with us today, Tom? Oh, we are joined by the guys from Potter Than Hell, Steve and BC. What's up, boys? Not much. What's happening? We are joined by our buddy Sonny Hollywood Pooney. Sonny, what's up, buddy? I am taking no accountability for this dumpster fire. And our game show host <laughs> is our buddy Murph, who we uh, we love to see. Murph, what's up, buddy? Do I really have to do this again? And first time appearance, guitarist extraordinaire and friend of the show, Tony from Restrained. Tony, welcome, buddy. Thank you, sir. Glad to be here. Big fan. Awesome. Yeah, you sound this, it. Uh, shit show right here. <laughs> the only thing missing from that is a gun to your head. It sounds like a hostage exactly. video. What the fuck? Everything's no, no, He looks like the guy who points the gun. So, yeah, that doesn't work. <laughs> this is true. Tony, try and restrain yourself. Oh, oh. there you go. Good. Oh, here we go. <laughs> So, All right. So, so, so Zeus, what do we do for first time guests, BC and Tony? They get the uh, They get the honor of answering what? The Murph questions in honor of your little footy pajama college roommate, Murph. So the first question I'm going to ask to both of you. Let's start with Tony answering first. Who is your favorite KISS member? Paul. Oh. Oh, all right. BC? Ace. Ace Figures. All right. What is (laughs) your favorite KISS song, Tony? Million to one. Oh, brilliant. Wow. BC. I'm going to go with Mr. Speed. Yeah. Oh, buddy. All right. Wow. These guys are on their game today. I like Favorite them. Kiss album, Tony. Well, I'm with my buddy uh, Tommy there with uh, Love Gun. Yes. The only right answer. <laughs> BC, BC, what do you got, Boris, buddy? Rock and roll over. Great call, buddy. All right. I believe we've had close to about 10 to 12, and I think those two albums are tied right now, Tom. Okay. Our most favorite albums. You sure Asylum? Um, <laughs> Asylum? No, we only have one idiot that took that. <laughs> All right, Tony, how many KISS concerts have you been to? I don't know. Sonny, how many have I been to? Uh, five you can remember, 10 you went to. Oh, uh, okay, that sounds about right. <laughs> Five to ten. There's a brilliant guy. The only other idiot that gave us a five to ten answer was your partner, uh, Stephen Michael from Growing Up Rock. There you go. You're in good company. Here we go. Um, BC, how many concerts have you been to? Kiss concerts. I'm going to say five right off the top of my head. Okay. Is that like five to ten? No. (laughs) (laughs) No, he actually remembers. He was solid five. Um, Oh, he doesn't remember either. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> all right tony your favorite kiss memory Ooh, um all right so that's actually a pretty easy one uh when it was my first kiss show crazy nights tour arco arena sunny you probably remember this um that was when crazy nights came out and they had that that chikara symbol thing and we had no idea what the hell it was so before we went to the show got some white bed sheets and spray painted that symbol in the middle of it and wrote, what the fuck does this mean <laughs> on that thing? <laughs> and it was huge. 
So uh, during one of the breaks, during one of Paul's banters, I jumped out in the middle of the aisle and just hucked it as hard as I could. And I thought I really thought I fucked up and like just went straight into the barricade. But it got right on the stage, went right past Paul. And he stopped talking, went and picked it up. He and Gene held the thing up. And he goes, what the fuck does this mean? Uh, I don't know, Gene. And Gene's like, like I'm not touching this one with a 10-foot pole. And Gene goes, uh, Paul goes, uh, I don't, what is fuck? I don't know. We love pussy. I don't know. And then he just went into, yeah. <laughs> that is awesome. I really, I'm really, I really want video footage of that because, man, that's, uh, that was pretty cool. But that was my favorite memory. Wow. That's awesome. That's great. That is, that's pretty awesome. BC. Uh, I don't know if it's a good memory or not, but uh, the reunion tour, uh, me and Steve here started drinking right here. At noon. At noonish. Met the bus at what? 4.30, 4.30. We're all hyped up all day, drinking, getting pumped up. We get on the bus, and Steve goes, is everybody ready to party? And you can literally hear a pin drop. Oh, no. And I'm like, this ain't good. We're on the wrong bus. And uh, from there, we watched the movie Copycat all the way to Philadelphia. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, then we stayed on the bus, and we met some good friends. Turned out to be some good friends of ours now. And, and some of you guys. Wow. That's an interesting kiss memory. <laughs> we abused the guy that ran the bus like a dog. Oh, yeah. Don't, don't oh that's mean. <laughs> oh, we All miss. Right. Thank you for sharing. Uh, much appreciated. Uh, who's going to give the rules? Anybody want to explain the rules to our listeners? I'll do it. All right. So this is, uh, for, for lack of a better uh, way to explain it, for all you people out there familiar with the newlywed game, so we're, we're teams here. We got me and Zeus from Shout Out Loudcast. We got Steve and BC from uh, Potter Than Hell. And then we got buddies uh, Tony and Sonny. So if anybody out there who watches the Newlywed game, Murph, the host, is going to ask uh, Group A a question. And the, they're going to have to answer for their partners. We're going to, you know, somebody's going to write down the answer. The other person's going to guess. If the guessing is correct, they get a point. And so forth and so on until we get go through a couple rounds and then we eventually crown a winner. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So the first so the first group, uh, the first group that will be writing will be myself, Sonny, and Steve, which means that Zeus, Tony, and BC will be guessing. Got it? Oh, got, it. got it. Yep. Got it. And so, and basically the reason we say in BFF, I would say each one of us have known each other, our partner for a good twenty to twenty five years at least. Is that right. fair? Yep. Sonny, Tony, wh- how long you guys known each other? <laughs> Too fucking long. <laughs> thirty three years I've been dealing with this asshole. Wow, thirty three. Yikes. <laughs> okay. I'm with Tony. Fuck him. Um, Steve, <laughs> what about you guys in BC? Yeah, we. We've been friends since uh, probably 19, 1990, so we're, we're 30 years. 30 years. Okay, great. Yeah, just about us, Tommy. That's right. Yep. Yeah. We saw our first kiss show together. Beautiful. All right. Nice. And Murph is the same with us, us three. Well, you guys known each other since kindergarten, so. That's right. Tommy yeah. and I go back to 1979. That's right. Good year, Dynasty. Yep. <laughs> That's how you judge everything, right? That's how, that's that my album. timeline. Kiss albums, yes, yes. So Murph is right. gonna read, so Murph's going to read the first question, and myself and Sonny and Steve will be writing the answers while the other three have to guess. Okay, so for the rest of the episode, I want to be referred to as Murph Eubanks, Ooh. and let's kick <laughs> it off to see who is going to be the king of the game show world. Here we go. So, first question. Steve, Sonny, Tommy, what would your teammate partner answer as to the following question? What is your go-to Kiss Alive album? What would your teammate's answer be to what is your go-to Kiss Alive album? Okay. Everybody all set? Okay. Yep. Zeus. The my question. answer. Yeah. yeah. My answer is alive. Hey, 
One alive. Point. All right. Who's keeping Tony. score here? Scorekeeping is a problem track. on Shout It Out Loudcast. Keeping it. <laughs> All right, cool. Tony. Uh, mine is a live two. Nice. Right. And yeah. Let's... Sonny said a live two because people can't see your sign. You might as well say it out loud. Said you okay. got it right. True. <laughs> True. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and then lastly, BC. Going to be a live two. And the yeah. answer. Yeah. Yeah. Alive, I put. Oh, no. All right. So, Yikes. after the first round, one point for Zeus and Tommy, uh, one point for Sonny and Tony, no points for Steve and BC. I think we already have more correct answers than Sonny hosted last time. <laughs> I think you might be right. All right. All right. Let's so, go. What's next? We'll get him back. Okay. Once again, the question is directed to Tommy, Sonny, and Steve. The question, what would your teammate answer as who is the best-looking member of KISS? Oh, my God. <laughs> Audience, these are actual questions submitted by the participants. <laughs> wow. Um, so you're picking what I would think, Tom. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Answer's been jotted down. <laughs> yep. Now, okay. it, hang on. BC asks, is this in makeup or just in general? <laughs> uh, I don't this know. Usually, like, no, I know how this question was formed because I think I know who asked it. It's who's the out of makeup, just best looking member of the band? Who would you say is the most handsome? You didn't know they were in the band. You saw them across the street. And you'd say and you lined them all up. Who would someone? Who would a female but, or somebody else say that's the best makeup? And look in makeup. It's the makeup. Not that there's effect. anything wrong with that. Right. If the makeup not, effect yeah. has a, an impact to you, then go with the makeup. There's nothing yeah. wrong with the answer. They're who in the I asylum makeup. Think okay. Of so, <laughs> say, so, so maybe you now. might have to change your answer. <laughs> Just think of who I would say. Yeah, that's the best. Okay. Got. So, to Zeus, what my is answer? Who's yeah. Best because I think there are some people that you would say are not what you would call handsome people. I my think is of all the members of Kiss, the most normal looking person of Kiss is Tommy Thayer. God damn it! I was going to say that. Are you kidding me? So the answer, <laughs> so the answer is Paul. Uh, no, is, I swear to God, I was going to say Tommy Thayer, but I'm like, no, Paul is a handsome man. Okay, you say so, that. I don't say that. You said so. So I would ask you that said, you said so. You, so said, as, you had wooden teeth. <laughs> as you show yeah. your answers to the other members in this game, if you could announce it so that the audience hears it. Yes, I said I Paul, and, and yeah, I yes. said Paul, and I was wrong because Zeus said Tommy Thayer. Damn it. Okay. okay. <laughs> All right. So, Tony, you are up. Who is the best looking member of Kiss? Paul. Did I say it right? And I said, Paul. Paul. Hey, another point. God damn it. All right, BC. Paul. Okay. Ding, 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 oh, ding. Right. Paul Stanley, baby. Paul Stanley is the handsomest. Okay, so after two. Have you seen? Dude, all we do is text each other photos of Paul looking like weird. Like, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> come on. I know. I don't, Tommy kind of reminds me of. I had pony. <laughs> I had pony. So what's wrong with that? You said you don't like ponies. You. <laughs> All, right. All right. So two points for Tony and Sonny. One for both Steve BC and Zeus and Tommy. All right. All right. Question back. number three. Once again, directed to Steve, Sonny, and Tommy. How would your partner teammate answer the following how would your teammate rank the kiss drummers from best to worst how would your teammate rank the kiss drummers from oh. best to worst so all right so number so one being the best then two and three correct okay maybe zeus you know cue up at this time a little spanish flea to fill the fill the void 
Yeah, we're not talking about <laughs> Schwartzberg and fucking Anton Fig. We're talking about like Kiss members. Oh, There's here we go. Three of them. Here we go. Three. Okay. All right. Is everybody done? Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. Box of the cat Zeus. Zeus. All right. That's easy, and I hope he would get this. Mine number one would go obviously, Paul, uh, Peter, Chris, Eric Carr, Eric Singer. Bingo! He got it right. Okay. Yes, baby. All right. I know you would know that one. Good one. Yep. All right, Tony. Let's hear All it. Right. All right. So the top of my list is Eric Carr. Number two, Eric Singer, and then that cat dude would be last. <laughs> it's fucking horrible. Damn, that's exactly right, oh, baby. Wow. Car Singer Chris. <laughs> All right. <laughs> They got a perfect game going three for three. BC, you are up. Uh, I'm going to go with Eric Carr, Eric Sinner, and Peter Chris. Oh, you guys are more wrong. Oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Eric Singer, oh. Eric Carr, wow. Peter Chris. Wow. Incorrect. I was thinking because the Alive 3, Detroit Rock City. Yes. Come on, man. That's fucking oh, awesome. Man. All right. Tough uh, one here. So, Three points for Sonny and Tony, two for Zeus and Tommy, and BC and Steve. I think you got to take a reflection on the relationship you guys have had. Only one point so far. (laughs) Next question. Once again, Steve, Sonny, Tommy, your partner is going to answer the following. You are about to get intimate with your girl. What is the must-have kiss song on the playlist you are about to play? Oh. So the mood has been set. The Cavassier cut with a little money bag soda to take off the edge. <laughs> oh, Jesus. The go-to song? Oh, Jesus. Uh, this could be anything. I don't know how Zeus is going to think here. I know. This could, this could go many it, directions. It, 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 yeah, this, is, this, is, this could be anything. Um, All right. So is everyone? I, I don't want to look at you because I feel like I'll be giving you hints. <laughs> Uh, all right, hold I, on. That's not they make me. <laughs> BC wants a little clear, clarification. Does he want? Does it want to get him horny or his girl horny? What's going to keep yes. her in the room? <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm ready. All right, so Zeus, uh, repeat the question. This is such a guess. Okay, I know you are about to get intimate with your lady friend. What is the must-have kiss song on the playlist you are about to kick off? You're about to have Whoopi. <laughs> Can I answer I'm gonna guess. I'm going <laughs> to guess what you think I'm thinking. Okay. okay? So I'll say, uh, let's put the X in sex. <laughs> <laughs> I was... I almost said that, but instead I said, love the... Oh, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, um, damn it. Down, down. All right. I mean, meet like, Rosie Palm that night. <laughs> Tony, to All keep right, the streak one, going. This one should be easy uh, because the album itself was a must have. So I'm going to go with the first song off the album, which is Tonight You Belong to Me. So the problem oh, is, is years. that Paul song, that Paul album will get you laid. And you always go with the first song that will get you laid, baby. Wow. (laughs) Wow. Are you guys texting each other? I know what I was going to say. So Kiss has like over 200 and something songs. You guessed guessed that, that, right? That's because we're Eskimo brothers. We play the same songs. Maybe it's their song. (laughs) There you go. There you go. (laughs) All right. (laughs) That's insane. (laughs) Be seen. To rebound and get tied with uh, Zeus and Tommy. Uh, you know, I like it for a uh, slower tune. Uh, I still love you. No? Oh. <laughs> Why would you play I still love you as you're about to do her? Because mm. <laughs> you're hoping that she's not listening to the X and sex. 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 All right. sex. You God. say that to get her there, not as you're about to do her. I'm still a little suspicious of Tony and Sonny. Yeah, that's a little off there. All right, all right. So I'm we buy it. So it's four Hate the points. Game, for baby. Hate the four game. points for Sonny and Tony. Two for Zeus and Tommy. One for Steve and BC. All right. Last question of round one. Okay. 
Last question to Steve, Sonny, and Tommy. How would your partner answer the following? If you had to erase one of the first six albums from Kistory, which would it be? And the six are Kiss Debut, Hotter Than Hell, Dress to Kill, Destroyer, Rock and Roll Over, Love Gun. Ooh, if you had to erase one of the first six albums from Kistory, which would it be? Ooh. You're, you're picking for me what I would get rid of. Yeah, I, I, I'm, yeah. I love all of them. <laughs> They're all shit. You're the all winners. The Sophie's Choice of Kiss albums. Okay. All right. Zeus. Dress to Kill. What? Are you, are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> I said uh, Love Gun. Okay. Because, because I know because I know that you love Come On and Love Me and Rock and Roll All Night and She and I never hear you talk about Love Gun. So that's I, God damn it. All right. Fuck. So Tony, I'm also <laughs> guessing based upon what I think you're going to think I'm guessing. No, that don't do that. <laughs> don't that don't do that. I know that, that you know that I know that I know that you know. Right, right. know. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> All right, Tony, uh, complete the perfect first round. Oh, this one, uh, this it's is a tricky tough. one because there's it's really between two for me. Just text uh, them, would you? I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna say <laughs> destroyer. Whenever you go to the top six, always go with the overrated one. Oh, oh my! God. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Running away with it! Holy shit! Dude. All right, That's so five for five. BC. No, I'm thinking he Come has on. like the questions, and then he has like seventy, uh, uh, like this, the the albums there, and he just picks up the destroyer one. He goes, to, you know. <laughs> yeah, this is a, yeah, Sonny That's had a good two, idea, dude. Sonny had Sonny had two hundred and sixty five sticky notes with every. <laughs> <kept on it. laughs> Oh, God. But you don't have to think that far ahead. If he asked half of the questions and provided them to Murph, right. he already has them ready. Right, right. All right, go ahead. Murph. All right, BC. Uh, hotter than hell. Ooh. All right. <laughs> that, was, that would have been my second. We're tied at the bottom. bottom. There you go. There you go. Yes. For those of you that can't see it, ooh means it was the right answer. So <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Murph. I know. All right. So after, after one, round one, Sonny and Tony, perfect five for five. You. And Steve BC, Zeus and Tommy are tied at two. So right. now we are going to flip it. And the questions now are going to be directed to Zeus, Tony, and BC. We're thinking getting in the minds of Steve, Sonny, and Tommy. Yeah, that's Steve, a good luck with that. That's and a fucking it. good place to be. All the points are doubled. Yeah. Okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All points are doubled. Yes. All right, so Zeus, Tony, BC, which album pair would your teammate pick for a road trip? Hotter Than Hell and Crazy Nights or Dressed to Kill in Asylum? Which album pair would your teammate pick for a road trip? Hotter Than Hell and Crazy Nights or Dressed to Kill in Asylum? <laughs> I don't want to look at him. <laughs> Whose stupid question was that? Seriously. I know. Why don't you say true or false? But that's okay. Crazy nights and hotter than hell and asylum and what? Dress to uh, kill. Dress to kill. Yes. Dress to kill in crazy nights. Dress to kill in asylum. Or hotter than hell and crazy nights. <sighs> right. Wait a second. Psycho circus and what? <laughs> so, all right. Here we go. Going. Sticking with the same. Formulas before going to Tommy. Tommy, which album pair would you have picked for your road trip? Harder than hell and crazy nights, or Dress to Kill in Asylum? Dress to Kill in Asylum. <laughs> yeah, Dress to Kill in Asylum. All right, all, all right. right. I right. crossed it out, Tom. Well, you know I the my mind. You know you the know Dress, dress to Kill is a Mount Rushmore for me. So I know. All right. But I thought you wouldn't pick Asylum just to spite him. Right. <laughs> you said spite. <laughs> Sonny. Right. Dressed to kill an asylum. Have to go that way. I think that one was a pretty obvious one. That was me. <laughs> dressed to kill an asylum. Keeping the streak going. Steve. I'm going to say. I'm going to. That I would pick. I'm going to say dressed to kill an asylum. 
Oh, yeah. Just the killing itself. <laughs> all right. All right. There you go. There you go. All right. We got a sweep there. Okay. Right. So- Very good. Very good. All right. The next question. Four crazy nights. <laughs> all right. So, Tony, BC, Zeus, question. Which member of KISS would have the worst hot ass farts? Oh, <laughs> are you oh. fucking kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> you, can't, you can't answer Zeus. Are you kidding me? I think Zeus wrote this question. You think? It had Which to be. KISS Him member Him would have guy. the worst? What the fuck? <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Can you repeat the question? The question. Which member of KISS would have the worst hot ass farts? What the hot fuck ass is- farts? <laughs> All right. Oh god. All right. As opposed to a face a, fart? I'm, I'm a, still confused as a, on as this. A good ass fart? As opposed to a rosy glow? <laughs> There's a glow. There's you a, a pink hue. hue. Oh, this question is just... uh, All right, are we ready? Everyone have their answers down. Yep. I didn't know if people needed time for this. No, no, no. All right. (laughs) Here we go. Zeus. What's your answer, Tommy? I'm sorry. Tommy, I'm my fault. I'm drinking so much, my ass is going to stick. I got to say me, Ace. What the (laughs) fuck, dude? Are you serious? Gene. Uh, What? (laughs) Like, I'm supposed to know that. Like, it's a fact. (laughs) <laughs> well, he breathes <laughs> fire out of his mouth, not out of his ass. We've been saying that for fucking 20 years. Woo! Gene's ass lit the house on fire. I thought that was an easy one. Oh God. <laughs> what is wrong? All right. With all right. Here we go. Sonny. I got to say, Gene's ass would light it on fire. So I'm going to go with Gene. So when I was thinking about this, I'm thinking, what could be possibly be worse than beer farts in the morning, right? <laughs> but I still had to go with Gene. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Wow. Seven Every... for seven. Jesus. Gene also has those breakfast sandwiches in his house at Family <laughs> Jewels. <laughs> all right. All right. Gene farts. Steve, <laughs> let's hear it. I'm going to say Gene Simmons from Kiss. From Kiss. BC. Oh, he's- oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, see, everybody had the logic. Oh man! <laughs> All right, let's get back to a real kiss question. Well, uh, the, the, the questions have already been submitted and informed ahead of time, so you're right. going to have to wait one more. Right. But the next question is: If they weren't a musician, who would be most likely ending up in prison? Oh, geez. if they weren't a musician, who would be the member most likely to end up in prison? Mm. Boy, this comes down to two people. Exactly. Now I got to think of who Zeus is going to. Or actually, no, I got to. I could, hey, I could see Gene doing. I could see Gene doing a pyramid scheme. <laughs> <laughs> a Simmons scheme. All right. Answers. So, Tommy. Yeah. If they weren't a musician. Who would most likely be the member of the band to end up in prison? I'm going between two people, so but I don't want to overthink this, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with Ace. <laughs> oh, oh, <God>. Peter, <laughs> that was my Peter. other guess. That was my other guess too, Peter. <laughs> Damn it, fuck. Peter with his temper and always I fighting, know, and I know and being from the you know Italian guy, always with losing, fighting you in know, gangs and shit. You read, you read Ace's book, all the fucking trouble he got in when he was a little drop out. He wouldn't be in jail. That's true. All right. All right. Sonny, what do you got? Initially, I was going to say Ace, but then I was thinking, I don't even know how I got here. You're like, he'd probably, <laughs> probably pass out. So I think I'm going to go with Peter. I think he'd get punched and get in some fight in a bar, and I think Peter would end up in jail. So he's a hooligan. My God. Oh, yeah. All right. He's a- this is destroy right here. Holy he shit. Pretty. He was in Oz. That's the other hint. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, true, true. 
All right, Steve, what do you got? Baseball bat. Well, I, I got to say, now I know that it was Tony that was sneaking in our cabin at the Monsters of Rock cruise and bunking <laughs> Sonny in the middle of the night. Because <laughs> I did hear Tonight You Belong to Me playing in the background, but that's a whole other story. Um, but then why did, I say, then why did BC ask me how I was doing? I'm like, dude, I'm doing just fine. You stay put. <laughs> <laughs> I, I knew there was a connection there somewhere. Um, it, it's got to be Ace, Ace, because I mean everyone busts on him. He's 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 a fuck up, but like I said, you know, I asked the question. He gets the most breaks, but uh, Ace definitely would have been in jail okay. if he didn't have the kiss machine behind him. Yep, because he likes to what drink cold. Oh, no. see, all right, all right. Are we so, now in? Are we now in yes. last? Yes. Oh, that's so been at last. as of this moment. Sonny and Tony are pitching a perfect game. BC and Steve, you got six points. Tommy and Zeus, you've got four. So we've got two more questions coming up. All right. Next question. You go to a benefit hosted by Gene Simmons. From from Kiss. Kiss. (laughs) And you are given a choice of any bass that he played through the years. Which one do you pick? Know Which the names of them? You, you are know the what kiss? they look like? You know what yeah, they look the like? Fucking obviously, yeah. I mean, there's only one. Well, what the pink one in Asylum? Yeah. Oh god. <laughs> oh, you got the one with the tongue from that time. You got the. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that one. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the, the even the even the old even the live two one is cool. Planet okay. From. All right. So Tommy. Yep. He got. He. You better have re- said the axe base. Axe, come on! Yes. Thank you. Fuck, ask All that right. question. All right, <laughs> only one I know. Okay, Sonny, what do you got? Gotta go with the axe. See, this one was actually tougher for me because I know that Sonny knows the names of other bases that Gene had, like Uh-oh. for example, the Punisher. However, I did say axe. Okay. All right. Keep it going. <laughs> All right, Steve. Oh, you got you got to go with the axe. It's the it's the it's the gene base. You got to go with the axe. Okay. And I said, axe. All right, all right. Yes. So we're coming down. What are you to showing us? Ball. Like, say, PC. <laughs> axe. Yes. Axe. All right. So, the last question of round two. Okay. To Zeus, Tony, and okay. BC, how would your teammate answer the following question? What is the best song on Asylum? Oh. Oh, oh God! This is too much pressure. This this is like uh, this is the tenth question, right? This is the tenth oh, question. Okay. Tony is furiously scribbling down every song title on his notepad right now. No, <laughs> I, I think this one's a slam dunk. But anyways, we'll the find best out. song on Asylum. So, a little pressure. We've got a tie for second place going on right now. Yeah. Do you want to name the Murph? Actually, hold on one oh, second. I- I don't have a tie as for second place. Nope, nope. I'm Steve, sorry. BC I... and Steve are two points ahead. Sorry. Yeah. Fuck. All right. I'm ready to go. All right. So, Tommy, what do you got? What is best, best song... song on Asylum? Best song on Asylum is Tears of Falling. Tears of Falling. Yes. Falling. <laughs> no whammies. No whammies. No whammies. <laughs> it's actually kind of a tough one, but. <laughs> Sonny, what do you got? If you say radar for love, uh, you're getting call. You're, the call's being disconnected. I was going to say that just to make you I'll mad. I'll disconnect it. Yeah, I was going <laughs> to say that just to make you mad. Right. Right. Oh, God. Come on, can you break the streak? I'll go with uh, all night. Uh-oh. Well, you ain't going to believe this, but we did not get Oh, that. no, the streak oh, is wow. over. That's okay. That's okay. You, you Play that crappy Van game Hagar game. song, The Dream is Over. The queen is dead. <laughs> All right. So, Steve, big question to break the tie. I'm not a big hits guy, but this song is fucking rocking. No, not, it's not really rocking, but it's great. It's got one of the best Bruce Holes, and I'm going to go with Tears Are Falling as well. Uh-oh. Tears, Tears Are Falling. Oh, All right. God, Tears we can't gain any ground. All right. So. What's the at- score after two rounds? I'm going to do <laughs> at- All right. So after two rounds, we have 13 points for Sonny and Tony. Mm-hmm. And 10 points for Steve and BC. We have eight points for Zeus and Tommy. 
All right. And we're at round three is worth three points each. And this is the round where we get to uh, the teams get to pick who's going to play what what uh, the guesser, the drawer, whatever, or the writer. Zeus, what do you want to do, buddy? How did we do? How many? Who got more points? Me for you or you for me? I think it was about the, the same first round. I think it was the second round. Yeah, I think it was about the same. What do you want? What do you want to do? See, I think you have been more vocal about your opinions than I have. Really I think you're right. You. So, so I should. I should be the one writing. You should be the one guessing well, about me. Guess. Yeah. Let me guess about you, I think. Okay. All right. So I'm I'm going to be the writer. Zeus is going to be the guesser okay. for, uh, for, for our team. Okay. So wait a second. Zeus is going to be the guesser. So you yep. do realize you're guessing for Zeus. You're guessing what Zeus would say. No, no, no. I'm going to be guessing for what Tommy's going to say. Tommy's going to so answer Zeus it. So Zeus is doing the writing. writing. So Zeus is doing the writing. I'm so sorry. Zeus I'm, is doing I'm the writing. Yes. I I'm, yep. I keep screwing up here. Just writes down. Sorry. Okay. Zeus Sonny? is the writer. Yes. So what do you want to do? I don't care. Uh, I don't care. Whatever. I'll write. Okay. All right. So Sonny writes. Let me write. Yes. Sonny writes. Right. Zeus writes. What do we got I'm for gonna... Steve's going to write. All right. He's going to write. Okay. Steve's going to write. <laughs> oh, oh boy. Right. I never heard that one before. <laughs> All right. Hold on a sec. All and right. He's so... a worth. And these are worth three points, so we got a shot here, Zeus. I right. hear you. We can't get we can't get eliminated from the championship round on our own show, can we? <laughs> yes, that we can. Yes, we the can. The way we do it. Yeah. Never... Every, every 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 other game episode we've had on here, we've gotten pounded, <laughs> and not that kind of pounded. Sorry. <laughs> you wish. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> right. All right. righty. So. Two, Zeus, Steve, Sonny. Remember, right audience, now, these are right actual now, questions. Right now, Jericho is somewhere saying, wait a second, I was on the show. Does yeah. that mean I did the pounding, or was I the poundy? Oh, boy, oh. here we go. Here we go. <laughs> I'm okay. All right, let's go. <laughs> to, our listening, to our listening audience, remember, these are questions submitted ahead of time by said participants. The question to Zeus, Steve, and Sonny, you have to make out with a KISS member for two minutes for $5,000. Which which member would it be? Only $5,000? $5,000? Come on. What? I'm not doing that. Ugh. Read it again. The question, you have to make out with a KISS member for two minutes for $5,000. Which member would it be? Who the fuck wrote this? <laughs> this has got to be a sunny question. I was just going to say, this is sunny. This is definitely sunny. For you don't worry about whose question. <laughs> For yeah, two I'm minutes? Gonna... Two minutes. Ugh. It's five grand. Dude. Dude, I'm not doing that for five minutes. I'm not doing it for five seconds. Two minutes? I don't kiss my wife for two minutes. What the hell are we talking about? <laughs> oh, I'm sure she's happy about that. <laughs> oh, God. Wait, so, wait, 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 wait. Before we go there, do we got a kiss? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. So, kicking it off to Tommy. Yes. Who am I yep. going to kiss for two minutes for five thousand dollars? Hold on that a second. Is, that is correct. Well, my answer Go is going to my answer is just going to come down to my favorite Kiss member, Gene Simmons from Kiss Me. Zeus is you shaking said, his head. You said that the most handsome member is Paul <laughs> earlier. <laughs> so so me, who would I say? Uh, <laughs> Wouldn't oh, your fucking man. eyes be closed anyways? Exactly. At least okay. I can say I kiss Gene. He wants the big <laughs> tongue down his throat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right. Who's next? All right. Next. Let's hear it. It is uh, Tony. Well, I definitely do not want that big ass tongue. Um, so I'm going to have to go with Paul. Well, we would be incorrect because I figured... If you're gonna get five thousand dollars, you just might as well go the whole way. Uh. Oh! <laughs> All righty. So uh, to break away and uh, get get some distance from your competitors, you see what do you got? 
I don't like hairy guys, so I'm going to go with Ace. Oh, my God. <laughs> Ace, <laughs> Ace, Ace, what? Oh I figured they'd God. both be so fucking oh. hammered that neither one of them oh. would even give a shit or remember it. <laughs> Can we get back to kiss questions, man? What There's the fuck is this? Want to We're talking about <laughs> kissing guys who has the stinkiest <laughs> ass. Like, what are we doing? Come on. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Wait a minute. I didn't make out with some guy named BC. I got busy with somebody. Well, oh. I'm picturing from all the stories, all the stories you've said about Ace. I'm picturing going. Can we just get this over with? I got to get five thousand. Why are we doing this for? Like you couldn't get two minutes with them because oh. they'd be talking. To them. <laughs> <laughs> Awful. So, all right, all right. <laughs> to get getting back to uh, some actual kiss themed questions that are uh, of appropriate material. Uh, so, Zeus, Steve, Sonny, how would your teammate? rank these albums best to worst elder unmasked carnival of souls how would your teammate rank these albums best to worst elder unmasked carnival of souls Ooh, it's a good one it's a good one three very questionable albums for for people this is actually easy for me, so I hope Zeus had it as easy a time as it with me. So I don't know. <laughs> All right, I'm ready. Zeus, All right. you ready? You guys are ready? I'm so ready. Thomas. Okay. Let's hear it. Number starting from the bottom. Number three, The Elder. Number two, Carnival of Souls. Number one, Unmasked. Yes. yes. So unmasked your best, right? Yes. In that. Yes. Okay. Yep. Right. Carnival and then Elder. Yep. Yep. All right. This is why I had I could pick you. You would never have gotten it from me. I would not oh, have gotten. That would have been tough. I I don't know how I would have answered that for you. Okay. So Tony. All right. My number three would be the Elder. Number two, Carnival of Souls, and number one, Unmasked. Uh oh. That would be correct. Oh my <laughs> God! Wow. What's Holy in parentheses shit. there? What is it? What do you have in parentheses, Sonny? AKA dumpster fire. Oh, it is. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't quite see it in the camera. Okay. Sonny hates the awesome. elder. All right, BC. How would your how would you rank the albums best to worst? Number three be Elder. Two on Mass. And number one, Carnival of Souls. And BC would Whoa. be correct. Jesus. Wow, can't, wow. Still can't gain any I know he's yet. a big fan of Carnival of Souls, and I know Elder he hates, so I had to throw it unmasked in the middle there. Oh. Okay. <laughs> good call. That's a good one. Wow. That was probably the easiest one that we had. Really? All right. Okay. Yeah. So the uh, next question would be to Zeus, Steve, and Sonny. Your right. least. What is your te- what would your teammate put down or quote as their least favorite non makeup album? What would your teammate put down as oh. their least favorite non makeup album? Least favorite non makeup album. I, I I I know what my answer is. I don't know what Zeus is gonna say. He should know, but I All right, know. all right, all right. So is everybody Least favorite non makeup album. Yep. Okay. So give everyone a second. I see some thoughts going on out there. Okay. I think this is it. And I think you like it, but I think it's yours. Yep. Okay. Okay. So, Tommy. Yes. What is your least favorite non makeup album? Asylum. Asylum. Yes. All right, baby. Jesus. Okay. Yes. Tony. All right. And I like uh, Asylum too, but nope. I know. Yep. I'm going to have to say Carnival of Souls. That's easy. That's that that's easy. Oh yeah. All right. All right. Is that Cosby? And I like it. <laughs> yeah. I like that. Cos- Cos- I do too. I I like Carnival of Souls. Yeah. I like Cosby too. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I wouldn't like to talk to you. (laughs) 
<laughs> I'm gonna go with the uh, asylum. Jesus. Wah, wah, wah. Oh, Animalized. Oh, oh. All right. I think we just so gained right. some ground there. Yeah, well, oh, yeah, actually, with the three point system. Yep. You, you, you've. You're still behind. <laughs> Shut your mouth. Shut your mouth. So, right we now. Some mer- we got some mer- freezage there. Okay. So, right now, I've got 19 for Sonny and Tony. Yep. I've got 14. For Zeus and Tommy, and I got thirteen for Stephen BC. Oh boy! How many qu- how, how many questions left in this round? Two. Two more. Okay. Two more. All right. Let's go. Over. All right. Let's go. So the next question. Did we have thirteen before? Yeah. Didn't we have thirteen before? Oh. Yeah, but you, you just didn't you get got, this last one right. You just got that one no, wrong. They should have 16 because they got the last one right. So it should be 14, right. 19, 16. No, they just got the last one wrong. He said, BC said Asylum and Steve picked Animalized. No, no, the one before. Oh, that. no, right, right there. Yep. The one 16. before that wasn't added yep, in. Yep, yep. Oh, boy. Nope, so, you're right. So we're, 19, so we're still, 16, 14. So we're still like in last. Said, you're still yep. behind. Yep. Shut 19, your mouth. 16, 14. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. So the next question. This is once again directed to Zeus, Steve, and Sonny. What would your teammate partner answer as, what is the most underrated Kiss song? Oh my god. Oh. Underrated Kiss song? <laughs> Come yep. on. No, if oh. anybody gets that right, that's ridiculous. What's? How do you define under... I mean, for me and Zeus, this could be... I mean, one thing pops into my head, but... Uh-uh. Everyone froze. <laughs> I know it. Everyone froze. I, I can see everybody. Oh, good. No, we're good. Yeah, okay, we're good now. Okay. And this is a weird one because I I think he would get mine as well. Okay. Zeus should get this. I mean, it's not really nothing's underrated anymore, but we'll see. Okay. Right. So, right. Right. Tommy. Yes. What is the most underrated Kiss song? I hope he says Mr. Speed. Yes, Mr. Speed. Okay. And, and you were the seven. one, and, and Zeus was the one who said, Nobody better get this right. <laughs> I know. But you know what made me think of it? Our our first our regular first, episode, the non compilation compilation. Yep. Like underrated songs, yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Tony. Man. All right. Uh, I'm going to have to say a million to one. I had no idea where to go with it, so I just went with his favorite song. Oh, Real. wow. All right. Nice. Yeah, they're at Mr. 22 Speed points. Up, too. That song All is right. underrated. That song, is def- that, that song is definitely underrated. Before BC answers, if he gets this wrong, I get a knife in my hand, I will fucking <laughs> cut him. Make sure it's still recording so we can have this on video. It'll go viral. I'm going to cover the camera. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right. Let's hear it. Steve should know this one because I'm always preaching it. I always change the lyrics to it every time it comes on. It's off one of my favorite albums, Mr. Speed. Mr. Speed! Oh, oh my God. <laughs> all right. He's the BC. He changes, <laughs> he changes that all the time. And the ladies okay. call me BC. He said every freaking time that comes on. So we right. get, again, we gain right. no now, ground. Now, just to, to prove that, what would mine be? Your most underrated song? Yep. If you get this wrong, I'm going to fucking cut you. <laughs> <laughs> wow. He's got a knife. I will cut you. I will cut you. I will cut you. I cut a bitch up in here. <laughs> oh, dude. All right. <laughs> you guys are fighting. You guys are fighting. Like, 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 you're playing the game there. within the game or something. I know. Yeah, That's right. Right. So oh, does that mean they lose a point there? What was it? <laughs> <laughs> so, Murph, we, is this the last question in round this three? Is the, this is yeah. the last question in round three. 22 oh. points for Sonny and Tony. 19 for Stephen BC, 17 for Zeus and Tommy. So we so, move on no matter what. So yeah, yeah. So we have Sun to get is in the final. Yeah, so we have to get this right and they have to get it wrong. That's the only way for us to win. Yep. So what yep. is it? Uh, one more time. 22, 19, and 17. Yeah. So, so they, for, we, we can't catch them. So, yeah. Right. So the we finals. the only way for us to go to the finals is for us to get it right. And them and Stephen and, and B- Stephen to get, yep. get it wrong. Yep. Okay. okay. So the question 
Yeah, no Zeus. pressure. <laughs> Zeus, Steve, Sonny, how would your teammate partner answer the following? <coughs> Who is the best singer in Kiss? How would I'm your guessing how would what your teammate Tom answer? would say. Yeah. How would your teammate answer? Singer. Who is the best okay. singer in Kiss? That's a pretty Fuck. weak one for the final question. Everyone's going to get this one, I think. <laughs> <laughs> As Steve holds his Bowie knife. Fucking fishing knife. I don't know what he's got there <laughs> from his tackle box. I got you like a fish. Okay. I want to show BC my toolbox. Good now, ahead. Zeus, you got you got <laughs> Zeus, you got to remember this is this is who you. I think. Yeah, yep. exactly. I know. Yep. Okay. All right, so Tommy, let's hear it. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with who I think. Gene Simmons. Are you from Kiss? Who kiss? 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 <laughs> yeah. No, I would never yes. have that. Oh, <laughs> oh. No. Dude, singer, not who's your favorite member? Gene's. I like Gene singing. I've never heard you say that. What are you talking about? Oh I've never heard you say that you like his singing. You say you oh, like Gene. God. He's your favorite. You think he's sexy? What's going on? Yeah. Well, okay. we're out. Gentlemen, I hope you've enjoyed the final it episode was fun. of the Out Loud cast. All right, just since back the, back the show's up. over, let's just cancel everything so no one won. That's All right. right. So, you know what, though? I'm happy our guests will be in the finals. That's right. right. We're accommodating them. Tony, uh, where we got? Even if we get Paul oh, advanced. There's no doubt. I mean, it, it was a close. Uh, I mean, Vinny was the close Paul second. Paul is That's- Vinny. <laughs> <laughs> I now, thought he was going to get like crazy to say Eric Thayer. Singer. Now, Zeus, oh, if this was the other way good. around, I would you would have easily said Peter, right? Of course. That's yeah. easy. Yeah. Uh-huh. All right. Go ahead, boys. Part of the hell, even though you're in the finals. Got to be Paul. Mr. Paul J. Stanley. See, I All just right. wanted I just wanted an excuse to just say Gene Simmons from Kiss. <laughs> and it cost us a it cost us a round in the championship, but that's okay. We would have lost anyways, buddy. Hey, come on, you're negative. No, we wouldn't have been hey. in it. They got this Thanks right. For oh, you're right. oh, you're right. All right, good. So now I don't feel bad. Okay. So, so now to is this uh the championship round one question and one question only? Yep. What's the point yep. total there? Five. For five points, it's uh, so this, currently so, so it, it's currently twenty five points for Sonny and Tony, and twenty two for Steve and BC. Ooh. Wow! So so they have to get it right. They have to get it wrong. Let's <laughs> let's pick a good let's pick a good one here. This is the okay. championship. Make okay. it difficult. So, so who is writing down for each team? Oh, yeah, you guys get to pick because why the we, Why don't we switch on this one? Why don't we switch? All right, so BC is so writing. So why don't you switch, too? You want us to switch? You want to do that? Sure. They can do it. Yeah, okay, they All right, so okay. BC. I mean, they, 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 they can still switch. text each other just, beforehand. No. So. <laughs> All right. I've had so. my hands on the top of my head. For the past like thirty minutes, I've had I'm, my hand in my pants for the whole thirty just gonna, minutes. <laughs> that's that's point, Tony cool. doesn't have any guitars behind him. That's okay. Right. So it's Sonny Tony, has like fifteen because I take care of them. They're over there. <laughs> Tony, you're gonna write, and BC, you're yeah. gonna write. Correct. Right. Okay. All right. So the question to Tony and BC: How would your teammate partner answer the following question? You have the opportunity to have a front row seat at the following show, but you can only pick one. Do you go to the 1995 Unplugged concert where the reunion takes place? Or do you go to the initial show at Coventry in 1973? Which show does your teammate pick? Unplugged 1995? Or Coventry in seventy three. Murph comes through with a good championship that question. I think. One. I think that's, that's a good a very one. Good that's question. a good one. Thank you. Came up with it myself. That's a good one. Can't take credit for the ass farts, but I can take credit for that one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm trying to think. To- I'm, I'm trying to think if me and Zeus were still alive, how how we would answer this. You know what? Okay, so, so you, you know guys what? answered too. Have- yeah. So. so. Yeah. For entertainment purposes, yeah. for entertainment Zeus, purposes, you wanna, Zeus, okay. you want to write down? You, 
Why don't you yeah. both write them down and see yeah. if you can guess what each guy's going to answer? Yeah, gotcha. there you go. There All you right. go. All right. Okay. For fun. Okay. So, Tommy, how would you answer? 1995 or 1973? For me? Yeah. What would you choose? Unplugged. Okay. Zeus? <laughs> Are you picking for me or are you picking for yourself? No. Both. I think we would both say unplugged. No. Okay. Because you went to that with Murph, so I figured you'd go to Coventry. Oh, it was different. That wasn't the reunion. It the, was the, oh, it was still like No. No, the no the, totally un, the, the MTV Unplugged had Ace and Peter. I didn't see that. Right. All right, but you still kind of saw like the convention stuff and that kind of set. You just didn't see Ace and Peter. And this so is why Shout It Out Loudcast came in last place. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Let's All right. get to the so, let's get to the good stuff. Yeah. So Steve and BC, you're you're trailing. So I'll give you and the By the way, I picked Coventry too, so there you go. Okay. Okay. So Steve. I am going to say Coventry because we've talked about this a bunch of times. That show actually happened on my fifth birthday. January 30th, 1973. That was my birthday, and we've talked about that many times, and I said I would love to just have been there. I would have been five years old, but I would love to be there. It's on my birthday. Every year, I'm like, I, I would love to be there. All right, BC? Many times you talked about it, and many times you drank about it. Nice. All right, 1973. Oh, All Jesus right. Christ. Yeah, so pressure's got- on. This is gonna yeah. this this is gonna be like one of those football games where the team has the lead all the way until the very last play. Can they split I'm the uprights? Man, I'm used to that shit. Can they split, <laughs> can, can, can let's can, go part of than hell? Let's go. Can Tony and Sonny oh, split yeah. the uprights or are they gonna pull a Scott Norwood? All right, here's Sonny. <laughs> okay, so I had some logic to this. Oh boy. Because oh it's God. close. Here we go. It's close. But I will take Stinger over Peter, and I will take the songs on Unplugged over anything they're going to play in 73. So I'm going to take Unplugged. Tony looks like he's going to string it up. Did we I just have t- our David Tyree moment? I can't tell if that's a relief or yeah, if that's got disappointment. It. got it. They got it. Oh! Got it. <laughs> 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 Very nicely Man. done. I was wow. uh, I was concerned though. I was concerned. <laughs> Congratulations. Now, now I grabbed my phone back from over there. Very very nicely done. Oh, unplugged. By the way, he picked because since no one said it. Oh yeah, sorry. Um, unplugged. <laughs> I said it. And, I, I said it. I and actually, I, I, I yelled. BC, it. If it was reversed, BC definitely would have picked unplugged. Yeah, it's tough. It's a good question because you're right. Seventy three Coventry. It's like you know. But I like Sun. I like Sonny's breakdown there, the, the set list, and seeing like Bruce Kulick is my favorite like non original member. So to see Bruce, uh, it's tough because obviously both of them are would, would have been killer shows. But that that's that was it a good is. one. And, and honestly, if if the first Kiss show at Coventry was not on my actual birthday, yeah. I would have picked up plug hands down. That's but awesome. We, we we've talked about this, and like B said, we drank about it many times. And um, we've watched the video at the at the firehouse yep. uh, more than more than more than a handful of times. <laughs> yep. And I was like, man, I was five years old, but can you imagine fucking being there? And it, like like I said, it, if if it was reverse, I know BC would have picked. He didn't really give a shit about Coventry. He didn't want to see the unplugged shit. Nice, that's great, guys. So, what is the final numbers? Final numbers. Sorry, got it here. We've got. 30 points for Sonny and Tony. 27 for Steve and BC. <laughs> Negative 17 for <laughs> Hey, that keeps our streak alive of getting our asses kicked on game shows on our own podcast. So that's perfect. <laughs> Guys, we have, I think, a bunch of questions left over. This was actually a fun game. Yes, it was. We can actually do this again. Yes. And then, obviously... Winners would uh, have choice. Um, I, I I can't thank you enough. I had fun playing. This was great, guys. Please tell us where can we listen to first. Uh, Steve, BC, tell us about you guys. We are the Potter Than Hell podcast. We've been going for almost 
almost four years here. And uh, we do everything rock and metal. I do it with myself, BC, uh, BB. We got a lot of initials in our show. <laughs> and my son, Dylan. And we do hard rock and metal. We do everything from ACDC to, I'll say, Zebra for the Z this time. Uh, nice. We're not much right. ZZ Top guys. But uh, we have a great time there. We have a ton of episodes out there. And um, we have a great time doing it. You got anything to say, BC? Lizzie Borden. Oh, <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Well, name me. Uh, tell us a couple of the last episodes you did. We just did. We just did an Iron Maiden epic song episode. We just did nice. uh, a tribute Dio on the uh, his tenth anniversary of his passing. We had a couple cool interviews. Dylan interviewed Alice Cooper like two weeks ago. Wow. BB did one with Jesse James Dupree that's coming out I think this week. And I interviewed the Apathy A Peace Brothers a week ago as well. And uh, it was cool talking to those guys and. Uh, we just got a bunch of stuff coming up, too, and uh, actually we have a couple cooked up for uh, Tom and Zeus here, and we've had Sonny in on the show a bunch of times. Tony, we'd like to get you on, and um, we have fun. We love it. Right. If we didn't love it, we wouldn't be doing it. I said, when it becomes work, we're done. Perfect. Yeah, smart man. Well, well said. Tony, tell us a little bit about Restrained. All right. Well, Restrained. Hard rock, melodic, metal, whatever you want to call us. Been around for a little over 10 years now. We only have about two records out because we're, uh, as Sonny says, we're on the Chinese Democracy CD release schedule. Uh, <laughs> Next one's coming out twenty two twenty two. That's right. Johnny and I were joking. Uh, we we're going to name it CD three for Chinese Democracy three. But uh, oh, there you go. No, that one's actually. The, the, the next one's going to be out this year. It's already done and mixed and mastered, so we're just nice. uh, figuring out how to get it out. But anyways, restrained dot com. Restrained is spelled with a Y. Yeah, I know it's stupid, but whatever. Um, yeah, Restrained with a Y, Restrained.com. We're on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, you name it. We're out there. Awesome. awesome. And you play lead guitar, correct? Yes, sir. Any singing? Guitar. Yeah, lead guitar. Um, Johnny, Johnny and I both split lead guitar duties, and then um, he does most of the main vocals. I do some main vocals, and we both do all the backing vocals. And is it true that Sonny was your original idea of lead singer? But he just his schedule wouldn't permit. No, a hundred percent. The problem, the main problem was, um, you know, a lead singer with a keyboard is a uh, you know, doesn't really work that well. Yeah. So. Was, was he playing the, the mascot? Was that? But I didn't fit in the costume. Was that That's thing right. called the keytar? Was that was he the, the keytar? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he had like leather pants on and a keytar and a mullet. Oh man! Oh, I, I'll share some pictures with those nice. oh, God, no. jeans. The big old helmet. Oh, oh yeah. Sure. Please, please, please do. <laughs> Guys, check out both part of the hell and restrained. I, the other guy up top there, I think we know you've been on a few times. What do you do? That's you, Sonny. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I'm on top. I feel like I'm on the bottom. Oh, oh God. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what the? Uh, GrowingUpRock.com. We're over 150 episodes. <laughs> We talk about everything from ACDC to Y&T. Fuck Zebra. Um, and uh, <laughs> Podcast Rock City, which is a KISS podcast. So, And that's been around over, I think, six years now. Now, you also did recently a couple uh, what did you do? You interviewed Eric Martin recently on Growing Up Rock, and then you got a, uh, a Foreigner list uh, episode, right? Yeah, I've got a Foreigner top ten out right now, and the Eric Martin interview was nuts. So you definitely want to check that one out. I'm so behind on my podcast. I have to catch up on everything, and I, I definitely got that one ready to go because I've heard good. I've heard it was a good one. So it that was, was great. That was very, very really cool great. stuff. They're all great guys. Honestly, thank you very much for for coming on. We loved it. Love having you on, and we hope to have you guys on again soon. Yeah, and Thanks let's not forget guys. to let's not forget to thank our uh, esteemed uh, game show host, the one and only Murph. Murph, thank you for joining us. You did a great job. We had a blast. Um, Tony, Sonny, Steve, BC, this was so much fun. Thank you guys for taking some time, and we just had a blast, and we'll, we got to do this again. Thank you guys so much. What about Murph? This is Murph, Murph, what are we pimping for you? Murph, what's, Murph. Your, web, what, Murph, what's Murph. your website? Murph, your have, CD, when's it coming out? I have 35 followers. I want people to unfollow me. Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> make, make America Murph again. There we go. Get your T-shirts made. Perfect. <laughs> guys, thank you very much. See you guys. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. It was awesome.
So that was clearly a ton of fun. Uh, like we said, tons of chaos. Uh, uh, you know, congrats to uh, Sonny and Tony on uh, pulling off the championship. And of course, in typical Shout It Out Loudcast style, who comes in last? <laughs> Us. <laughs> <At this time. laughs> but it was funny, though, because looking back and thinking about it, like, especially the final question that kind of got us bounced about what would your teammates say is the best singer in Kiss? So the problem with that question is, yeah, it's Paul Stanley. But I'm thinking in my head, I need, to, I need to think, okay, how, what's Zeus going to say? What does he think I'm going to say? Because he knows Gene is my favorite. Is he going to think that I think he's the best singer? So there's a lot of, like, there was more strategy to this game than I thought there was because, like, certain answers are, like, obvious, and then other ones are like, oh, shit, well, what does he think I'm going to say? And, okay. you know, it, it was just fun. It was great. The elephant in the room is this. How the fuck of all the millions of songs that Kiss has, what is a song you're going to play before you make whoopee with your loved one? They guessed Tonight You Belong to Me. Where the fuck would that come from? Well, I and told he you got I, it I, right. That is you. fucked up. I told you what my theory was. Sonny had post-it notes with every <laughs> single Kiss song written down and just pulled the one that Tony said. The only, the only, do uh, other than just ridiculously know each other they've talked about it oh, i'm gonna hook up with my wife tonight what are you gonna play oh i always play tonight you belong to me yeah i'll remember that someday if i remember on a kiss podcast game show i liked my answer better love theme from kiss <laughs> oh yeah that's awesome <laughs> uh, i was thinking like tom knows because we did the five songs to play and five songs not to play on oh, Valentine. Yeah. I'm like, he remembers I put, let's put the X in sex. I, you'll probably guess that the other I couple didn't. good ones I liked is that you knew my drummer order. Oh, I know, obviously, you know, Peter Chris is number one, but I wasn't sure where you, if you knew where you put Eric Carr and Eric singer. Oh yeah. Yeah. And, and that then, was interesting. Yeah. And then we had the other ones like, uh, whose ass would give the worst fucking like <laughs> smell and like oh, Jesus no, no. Christ. it was it, it, i think i remember how it was worded yeah i wonder uh, why who which member would have the worst hot ass farts <laughs> and then of course the and then the other great one which band member would you make out with for two minutes for five thousand dollars or whatever the amount of? Oh my god! And we're all like, I wouldn't do that for five thousand dollars. <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with that. <laughs> and then, but, uh, who was the no. most handsome member? <laughs> Zeus is like, uh, I gotta go with Tommy Thayer, and, if, and then I'm, and then I pick Paul Stanley, and Zeus is like. But we always send pictures to each other about his funny looking face. <laughs> yeah, like his poses and shit. I am not what you would call a handsome man. <laughs> he can't be Paul. But that stuff was hilarious. Oh. I will say, of all the games and all the game shows we've done on this show, this was the most fun. Game show lover. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this was m the most fun that I've had on this. And there was, even though we lost, it, the guys were great. The questions were great. It was fun. And uh, it went right down to the wire. Yeah. Mur I got to give props to, we, we gave props to Murph. He did a great job because for a championship question that it kind of, it mattered because th I thought that was a good question. And we talked about it after it was over, like how, how, you know, even though we were out, how we would have went on it, but I thought we that got was that wrong too. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Oh no! We suck again. But it was that. But I think that's why that question was good because it was like literally like, okay, well today I'll think I'll go with the Coventry show. Uh, tomorrow I'll go with the Unplug show. I don't know. But see, here's the thing. I'll, I'll debate that right now with you, Tom. I would say you went to what would be called the almost acoustic show without Ace and Peter. So but I'm thinking what, you'd right. want to see the other one. That's how I would figure it. Right? No, I, I get it. But I but I didn't uh, but I didn't see Ace and Peter. You know so I mean? good. Right, gotcha. right, right, <laughs> right, right. Um, anyway, we really appreciate appreciate those guys. Um, obviously, Steve, BC, uh, Murph, Tony, and Sonny for coming on. That was a lot of fun, and you guys are great. And I know they already pimped their show out, but check out Steve on uh, in BC on Potter Than Hell. It's a great podcast, Sonny. Everyone can find him. He's on Podcast Rock City and Grown Up Rock podcast. 
and Tony in from Restrained. They've got their website. It's Restrained is R E S T R A Y N E D. And uh, they got their website. They're on social media, Twitter, Facebook, all that stuff. Listen to them. Melodic, good hard rock metal. Yeah, and you Give can find chance. and you can find their stuff on uh, on iTunes as well. So if you're if you're uh, a, you know Apple Music or whatever they're on there too, check them out. Awesome stuff. So Tom, we always end with a, a question before we get to the plugs. Yes, we do, and we kind of have a question that is relatively topical to the game. Um, I thought this hey. was a it's a it's a fun question. It's a fun. It's a silly question, but we're talking about a silly game. Silly, silly. So, and this comes from our friend of the show, Angelo Capasso. Okay. So, so his question is, okay, I think both of you are Bruins and Patriots fans. Yes, we both are. And I know, right. I know you are KISS fans. So here's my question. If you have a chance to go live, front row center, for these three moments, rate them one through three with number one being... The, the, the number one choice. Okay. Patriots, February 3rd, 2002, first Super Bowl victory. Bruins, 1970, Stanley Cup championship. Kiss, January 30th, 1973, Coventry. Um, I would go Kiss, Bruins, then uh, Patriots. I've been to the Bruins. I, I've had season tickets in 2001. Uh, for the last 15 years, my seats are three rows from the bench. Yep. I've seen it all, been through it all. So that's the only reason I'm saying that. Patriots, I saw the Patriots won the Super Bowl with you with at my me. apartment and your that's wife. Right. That's right. Party. I've seen the Red Sox win the World Series with you. With you. I, I saw the Patriots come back from that 28-3 to at Atlanta victory at my house with you. With you. <laughs> I, think we, I think we're like, I don't know, there's a couple more that we've done. Like We're like 5-0 and oh and championship games i think we've seen together the um, only the only time the soup the only time the patriots have ever lost the super bowl is when i don't watch it with you that's a fact wow See? I, they, they have they have never lost when me and you watch the game together yeah there you go so all that being said that's where i would go how about you okay so this would be tough for me because i, I love the bruins the patriots I, I i lose my mind over the patriots they make me crazy and that game made me crazy but it's Kiss, so Coventry's got to be number one, um, and then I got to put the Patriots two and the Bruins three. Not not much is separating the Patriots from the Bruins. Yeah. Um, but that's a great question. I thought it was relevant because Coventry was part of the uh, the final question on the uh, the BFF Newlywed game. So thank you, Angelo, for that. And he also adds, by the way, I bleed black and gold, but he's a Steelers fan. Ugh. Yeah. Ugh. So sorry about that, Angelo. Good luck with that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> good, good question. Oh, thanks, buddy. We appreciate it as always. That, that, so, Thank so you, that, was, that, that was a fun one. Tom, where can people find us? People can find us on uh, our social medias, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, our email, which is shoutitoutloudcast at gmail.com. We are available everywhere you can hear your podcast. We're all part of that awesome Pantheon podcast family. Apple iTunes, Stitcher, uh, Spotify, iHeartRadio, Pandora, name it. And uh, I we got always... one for you. Go ahead. Oh, are we on YouTube? YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> and give us one of those uh, five star child reviews that Zeus likes to talk about on iTunes in Pod Chaser. That's another huge one. Star. Please let us know what you think. Give us those reviews. We love hearing from you. Absolutely. Um, so we we talked about Pantheon. We um. We mentioned uh, we didn't mention our good friend Ed, uh, Ed right at Click T Shop. Ed does a great job. And when we did the um, we did the live cast, Ed jumped in and helped us out and created the banner for us. Yes. He's a great guy. He supports a lot of podcasts and he has a great product. You can get all your shouted out loudcast gear from him, whether it means our logo on pillowcases, stickers. Whether you want to get a shout out loud cat t-shirt or any other podcast, he has a lot of them out there and a lot of the kiss themed t-shirts, which are badass. And he's got an exclusive deal with the car family. And so check out his Eric Carr stuff. Uh, and that's at click T shop, K L I C K T E E S H O P.com. Click T shop.com. And then remember to give us those emails and tell us what you're thinking. 
what you think about the show and how we're doing, shout it out loudcast at gmail.com. And but before we let you go, we did get some feedback recently on how we're doing. So let's hear some of that feedback. Yeah, so we got a couple emails that we like to share because we urge you guys to always write us emails and we want to read them. So we appreciate that interaction. So we got an email from Jerry Blackwell. Jerry, uh, he, this is about our Deuce episode for the uh, favorite second songs. He says, Tommy's list was dead on. And Zeus's list, well, we will be nice. <laughs> okay, for future reference, Jerry, never be nice. Tell us what you think. Put it in writing, my my friend. Yeah, thanks, Mr. Blackwell. Yeah. You're not, you're not well. Uh, then we got a, an email, another email from our good friend Lance. Uh, he, he left he left a really nice one. He gave us his list. Nothing to lose is number one. Um, he had a lot of nice things to say about the show. We greatly appreciate that. He says, thanks for the great show every week, and especially the recent Bob Kulik salute last week on Facebook. It was nice to not only reminisce about his work, but also have a chance to relax and laugh, which is what some of us need during this crazy year. It was like a bunch of buddies hanging out and shooting the breeze. Keep up the great content. Absolutely. Lance, thank you so much. And that's why we did that live stream, to give people uh, you know, something to kind of just laugh about and have some fun and kind of take their mind off uh, all the chaos that's going on. Zeus, do you want to read that nice, beautiful email from our new friend, Todd? Awesome. Todd. What is up, you two fruitcakes? Oh, that's a great way. Uh, first time emailer, long time listener. I have listened to all of your episodes two times over. Wow. You might say I am a two timer. Wanted to share my Kiss Music Marathon I tackled over Memorial Day weekend. I listened to 23 total albums, 19 studio albums, none of the live or symphony, and then the four solo albums. As many times I've listened to these, Born in 72, Destroyer was my first album. It's amazing how you can listen from beginning to end and hear the evolution of the writing, the players, and the tr just the trends they either drove or followed. It is also just awesome how your, in big le capitalized letters, episodes give an entirely deeper experience when I listen now. You guys do such a great job of bringing your life experience into the fold with your humor and overall fandom. Listening to your banter makes me laugh all the time. Your stories bring back similar memories. Before listening to you, I also, and still do, listen to Eddie Trunk. It's so fucking funny how you call him Stuart. It took me numerous episodes before I connected the dots because I never actually heard you call him by name. I kept thinking, this really sounds like some of Eddie's antics. And then the light bulb lit up. I do love Eddie, but man... Does he self-promote? And without him, there would be no ace. Ha, ha, ha. Thank you for flying the kiss flag high. And all the work you put into the episodes, they are great. And lastly, thank you for the all right sound that Zeus makes. My wife absolutely hates it. And yet <laughs> I do it all the time when she asks me to do that do uh, stuff. Ha, ha. She also loves the Shout It Out Loud cast stickers that have mysteriously been strategically placed on Yeti cups throughout the house and from the most awesome Click Tea Shop. Yes, that's Click with a K. Nice. Last but not least, to answer some Murph questions, as I feel like I am part of the show now, I've always been an ace guy. With the solo albums, I always went ace, Gene, Paul, and Peter. But here we are, crazy days, or is it crazy nights? As I officially have changed my solo rankings, number one, Paul, Ace, Gene, and number four, Peter. Sorry, Peter. You'll always be the true cat, man. I look forward to many more episodes. You guys rock. Peace out, Girl Scout, Todd. Oh, wow. Dude, that's amazing. Todd, thank you so much. Uh, we do the show for people like you, and, and emails like that are just amazing. Thank you so much for taking the time to, to write that and listening, and we appreciate that very, very much. Yeah, awesome. absolutely awesome. awesome. Those those are the type of emails that when you're tired and you're like, oh, I got a fucking tape or, oh, yep. man, I still got to do editing. This is why we do it. Absolutely. Uh, comments like that. So thank you very much for the inspiration to keep doing this stuff and for us uh, allowing us to do what we love to do. And yep. that is talk about kiss, be stupid and have fun. Um, so that being the case, Tom, famous last words. 
I am a sinner who just loves to sin. I am a fighter who just loves to win. I am the truth about this crummy hole. There's nothing here that can't be bought or sold. I'm like, what the fuck is that from? <sighs> Great um, song. Great song. I've been, uh, I'm doing this one for our, in the memory of our good friend and of the Kiss Army. And uh, this is a song he worked on. I've been working at my job, slaving like a dog all day. And I've been thinking about you, girl, and watching the minutes slip away. God bless you, uh, Bob Kulik. Thank you, Tom. Thank you, Kiss Army. Thank you, Zeus. Thank you, everybody out there. We appreciate the interaction. And uh, thank you so much for following and listening. And uh, stay tuned for, uh, you know, a live stream. We'll try to give you guys an advance notice, but keep an eye out. You never know when that's going to drop. And uh, everybody stay safe and uh, just have a good time and try to start to enjoy your summer somehow. Thank you. Peace out, Girl Scout. (laughs) 